Welcome to this tutorial on Canvas 360 Pro. My name is Mike Sevigny from Taurus Media Labs, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use 3D plugins with Canvas. So in my project, I have a single piece of 360 footage. You can download this video from our Vimeo page, which is linked in the description of this tutorial. So I'll first launch Canvas 360, and I'll create a Canvas 360 project using my footage. So under Composition, I'm going to select the video. The rest of the fields will fill out automatically based on this video. I'll then click Create to create the project. And now I can look around the scene just as expected using the Unified Camera Tool. Anything we add in our working composition will appear in our 360 output. So I'll first create a solid to add my 3D plugins. And I'll add Trap Codes Form. And we can see that form has been added to our scene at the default 3D position inside the plugin. So we can manipulate these settings just as we normally would. And I'll also add star glow to stylize the effect. I'll make a few more adjustments to the effects. Then I'll generate my output from the Canvas 360 interface. At the bottom of the project tab, I'll select my point of view, my 360 map type, as well as my preset for the output size, and click update. So 3D plugins work just as they do in a normal composition, only now they work in 360. This technique will work with Element 3D, Form, Particular, any 3D plugin that doesn't rely on a 2D position to generate the effect. Now what if we have a moving camera, like in this video, provided to us by Sky VR? We'll first have to 3D track it and then add our 3D plugins. So again, I'm going to create a project using the footage under Composition and I'm going to find a good angle for After Effects to 3D track. I'll zoom in my camera a little bit to focus on the area of interest. And then I'll apply levels directly on the 360 pass to increase the contrast in the clip. Once I'm happy with it, I'll save the POV under the POV tab and to do that, I just have to name it and click Save. Once it's saved, I can go over to the Tracking tab, select my 360 pass, as well as the POV that we just saved, and click Track Camera. Canvas will automatically feed the angle of view from the working camera into the 3D Tracker plugin to increase the accuracy of the solve. After Effects took about 5 minutes to track and solve this footage. Once the track is complete, I can select the 3D Camera Tracker plugin to reveal the track points that After Effects found in this footage. I'll then select a series of points on the ground that form a plane. Then I'll right click and select Create Camera and Solid. Then I'll select that solid and camera in my timeline. And in the bottom of the tracking tab, I'll select the POV that we just tracked. Then I'll click Add Tracking Data. Adding the tracking data for this scene took a little under a minute. Now when I scrub through and look around, my solid is attached to the ground. And if I flip over to two views, you can see that my camera is actually moving and my object is static. So now I can delete my 3D tracked camera that After Effects provided. I'll turn off my solid and I can also delete the effects that are added to my 360 pass because I don't need them anymore. Next, I'll add my 3D plugin by creating a solid. I want to make sure that my solid is the same size as my composition, so I'll click Make Comp Size. I'll call the solid Form, and I'll click OK. Next, I'll add the effect to the solid. And 
And if I look around, we'll see that form has been added to the default position inside the plugin. Now I can position it anywhere I want in 3D space. So I'll copy the 3D position of my solid and paste it inside the form plugin. Now I can customize the effect. And I'll add star glow again to stylize it. Now that I'm happy with the effect, I can output my composition. So I'll go over to the project tab. I'll select my point of view, default front, the 360 map type, cube map, as well as my output resolution, 4K, and click update. And the result is a 360 output of our 3D tracked 3D plugins. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Canvas 360 Pro. Be sure to sign up for our newsletter at taurusmedialabs.com and follow us on social media as we tackle increasingly difficult 360 challenges.